The subject in this work are phoenix eyes fruits arranged inside and around an intricately woven open basket and on a bluish green tableware. This still life arrangement is placed on top of a wooden table. The bright red pods are cracked open, revealing black seeds within, as though they are phoenix's eyes awakening. They appear ripe and ready to be eaten. These bright fruits are juxtaposed against a rustic interior, the window frames, and wooden wall panels in the background, a frying spatula hanging vertically above the basket. The setup suggests that the artist had painted this still life in a humble home kitchen. Georgette painted this in a naturalistic manner, as seen by the use of linear perspectives when painting the tables and the wooden panels, the use of shadows casted by the phoenix eye fruits on the table to suggest volume, and the use of foreground and background to depict a sense of depth. This realistic rendering makes the painting accessible to the viewers, drawing their attention to the visually arresting phoenix eye fruits against the plain setting, adding much value to the, and suggesting that they are not just fruits that Georgette found in her home, that there is more than meets the eye. So, why would Georgette paint this subject matter? Let's look at the context of the work. Georgette loved to travel, and used paint to capture the beauty of the everyday. She took pleasure in the sensual qualities of what she encountered, the colors, the textures and forms. During World War II however, Georgette and her husband were placed under house arrest when the Japanese armies invaded China. Trapped in an interior space, Georgette was only able to paint objects that she had access to, such as her husband, traditional wear, and local fruits and vegetables, one of which are the phoenix eye fruits. Constrained by limited subject matter, she chose to make the best of her situation and paint these beautiful fruits against a dull domestic setting, displaying a sense of hope amidst the dark tumultuous times. Her choice of fruit could also stem from her culture. Phoenixes are mythological birds of East Asia. They are symbols of Asian oriental beauty, high virtue, grace, and blissful relations between husband and wife. Hence, choosing to paint the phoenix eyes fruits could be Georgette's subtle attempt to assert her cultural identity during a time of occupation that destroyed her people. Disguised as an ordinary still life painting, the phoenix eye fruits are painted bright red and fiery, eluding a message of hope. Georgette used a variety of brush strokes in this work. Influenced by Cezanne, a post-impressionist painter, she used a series of discrete, methodical brush strokes, as though she was sculpting form rather than painting it, allowing her to achieve verisimilitude while leaving her mark. She did not believe in mere imitation of appearance, but rather, integrating spirit, form and emotion in the work, a clear influence of Chinese ink paintings. Georgette used both pencil-thin delicate lines and bold, deliberate ones to delineate one form from another, a style that mirrors Fauvist painters. She further expounded her linear strokes by making fragmented lines for wooden surfaces to denote the rough textures. This technique is influenced by the Impressionists painting in plein air. Their strokes show spontaneity as they attempt to capture a visual impression of the scene. These techniques add a dynamic, lyrical and vivacious atmosphere to the humble everyday scene. This is Georgette's way of paying tribute to local subject matter that have consistently provided creative inspiration, serenity and joy to her. The colors used in this work are naturalistic warm, such as the bright reds and oranges for the fruits, the pinks to denote the surface of the table surface, and the mixture of pale red, yellow and green strokes for the background. The warm tones help to create a warm and cozy atmosphere, adding life into the static scene. Georgette has also used red and green for the background. These are complementary colors which, when placed side by side, adds vigor and visual interest to the scene without stealing the attention from the fruits themselves. There is also a strong contrast between the more saturated colors used for the fruits in the foreground and the more desaturated colors in the background. This creates a stronger sense of depth to make the work more believable and more interesting to look at, drawing emphasis to the foreground. This is an interesting still life painting because Georgette has made the composition dynamic, despite being a static image. This is achieved through the use of diagonal lines as seen in the wooden panels in the background, the tables in the foreground, and the seemingly random placement of fruits. The black seeds in the fruits complement the black holes in the basket, creating patterns and a sense of rhythm pulsating around the table, 
adding dynamism, movement and visual interest to a deceptively simple scene. The seeds are also grouped into three groups, forming a triangle that follows the contours of the table, making the work look more harmonious despite the difference in number of fruits within each group. The subject matter is also positioned to the left from the center of the painting, creating an asymmetrical composition. Yet, the painting is also balanced as seen by the ladle hanging on the top left, and the one placed under the table in the bottom right. These clever compositional choices allowed Georgette to bring dynamism and life to an already simple scene, reflecting her desire to paint the beauty and joy of the everyday.